Hi everyone. So today we are going to see the Flux One Turbo Alpha Lora, and this is by Ali Mama Creative, which is uh, from AliBaba.com. And this Lora is actually pretty good. So I have generated some with this Lora with Hyper, the same prompts and seeds, and the normal generations. Remember, for the normal generations and for the flux, I have tried to put the minimum steps required. So I have used just twenty steps here so that the image is visible because I wanted to see what is. Hi everyone. So today we are going to see the Flux One Turbo Alpha Lora, and this is by Ali Mama Creative. Which is uh, from AliBaba.com, and this Lora is actually pretty good. So I have generated some with this Lora, with Hyper, the same prompts and seeds, and the normal generations. Remember, for the normal generations and for the flux, I have tried to put the minimum steps required. So I have used just twenty steps here so that the image is visible because. I wanted to see what is the lowest setting where we can see uh, we can get like uh, usable images because all of this basically depends on speed. Obviously, if you are running without any LoRa like full twenty or even thirty steps, that is going to be better. There is no doubt about the quality. But how much can we save if we are using this LoRa, which you can see here they mention with just eight steps, right? So how is this different from the Hyper Lora? And uh, let's see. I have total nine prompts, and I have generated them. So the first one you see, the first set is from the Turbo. Now for the Turbo, I'll just show you. For the Turbo, I have used this uh, Turbo Flux model, and all of the other Loras are off, so they are not working. Don't worry about it. The guidance is three for all of these workflows. The prompts in itself are not that important. Other than this one, I'll tell you why. So the first one you can see when we see the turbo one, right? This is from turbo, and this is from hyper. One th small things you can notice is that if you look at the shoes, you look here. One thing I have personally noticed somehow the flux actually generates uh, like better fingers with the hyper lora. And here I can show you that uh, the hyper is set at 0.17. This does not work with like uh, one complete model weight, so I am using 0.17. And this is the final one. So obviously, in terms of quality, because this is a full body image, so you will not get a very high resolution face. But uh, in terms of quality, in terms of hands, you can see obviously this is way better. And the turbo one is pretty similar. So if you see the turbo one is pretty similar to the actual generation in terms of aesthetics. If you look at the background and everything, the color grading, it looks good. Now the hyper one generates best uh, fingers, I think, when it is compared to the turbo, but it changes the scene quite a bit. So I, you would have seen, I generally like to use the hyper lora with uh, the skin enhancer workflow because I think face and everything can be fixed. I generally like this type of composition, but okay. Coming back to the next one, this is the second. So we had a cafe kind of background here, and for the turbo, you can see like uh, the cars, the chairs. These make sense. Like it looks nice. The watch is okay. There is a bracelet. The fingers are looking nice. Uh, everything like there is no disformity or anything like that. This takes a little bit different approach. Now, one thing you would have noticed that this is slightly brighter than these two, and you can adjust this if you slightly reduce the model weight. But then you will have to increase at least like you can have nine or ten steps. That is how you can fix that. This is what I have seen. But the hyper generally creates slightly more brightened images. The exposure is slightly higher, and it is not bad. But when we are trying to Include more details. You can see these lights, right? You can see the reflections. Those kind of details are not there in the hyper. But when we are talking about the eyes and everything, it looks pretty good. It is not bad. It looks good. And obviously, the original one looks good. But then again, there is like you know, the flux model in itself has a tendency to blur out the background. There is a Lora called Anti Blur. 
so you can use that but obviously the general one uh, tends to blur out the background more you can see this is slightly fixed with this so uh, the amount of blur here is not equal to the amount of blur here this is how dslr cameras actually work but uh, due to some reason like flux generally has this depth of field or bokeh effect way more so also the bokeh effect here looks uh, for me it looks way more natural in the turbo lora than the original flux one so this is something and although the quality here is pretty good and the details are better like there is a coffee you can see the spoon some things you need to notice is that whether the spoon is you know like it is entering from here and behind if this is in a straight line this is actually important because uh, if the model is not good you would see half of the spoon from here you know like this is the uh, reasoning and logic of that particular model now let's come to the third image and again a very common thing you would see is that these models are slightly the hyper ones are slightly brightened up the color grading is actually amazing when it comes to like turbo and normal flux but then again there is something about the skin tone lighting and everything you see the fingers i really like uh, the hands in hyper this has been a constant thing if you see the hands in the turbo model it uh, like messes up and uh, this you would see is more prevalent when you are trying to use other uh, loras with turbo uh, flux so i tried to use boreal and the hands were completely like uh, messed up even at uh, very lower weights but uh, uh, hyper somehow manages to keep uh, the hands good even when you are using different other loras so this is a uh, kind of a plus point for me and obviously the composition here is good and this is more similar to the color grading here but then again in terms of quality this is way better also when you see the hands these are perfect these are not having that kind of an issue which the turbo has and i also did try to lower a weight slightly but then again there are two problems one is the hands are not completely fixed when it is a full body image secondly uh, you would have to increase number of steps so at 0.8 model weight for the turbo uh, lora i have seen you need at least like 12 or 13 steps so obviously you are increasing that uh, gradually with that so eight steps does not create very perfect hands when we are talking about full body images and uh, although it tries to tend to move them so that is one thing now we'll check the next one you see this is the turbo one and this is something i like but then again there is some problem with the fingers and hyper has also problem with the finger you can see it has messed up obviously because the hands are interacting with each other till now flux has not been able to nail it when it comes to the interaction the original flux has an extra finger here but you can see it's still way better than these two and you can obviously like uh, remove this particular finger here it also has uh, different details like you see there is this umbrella right so in terms of quality obviously this is way better so the next one was supposed to be an image of an indian man in front of a, a palace I don't know why the man has been completely ignored in all of these images. It's quite funny, but like uh, so, and I don't know what has happened with the quality. It has messed up in all of these images. So this one was a complete failure. Now, if you look at this particular image, this is pretty good. And you can see these kind of effects, like the turbo one is uh, quite capable. Again, the hands is not clear, but like it is okay. It is not that clear, but it is okay. The hands are pretty good when it comes to the number of fingers. Even if you see this is low resolution, the hands and everything are pretty good, you know, when it comes to the uh, hyper one. And obviously the quality of this is crazy. The original flux model. And one thing you can directly notice is that the turbo model and the original model are pretty similar when it comes to the composition when it comes to the color grading and everything hyper changes it up but 
दिस इज जस्ट माई पर्सनल चॉइस आई एक्चुअली लाइक द हाइपर वन बिकॉज इन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वेज इट इंट्रोड्यूस इट हैज गुड फिंगर्स एंड एवरीथिंग द स्किन टोन लुक्स गुड इट डज नॉट हैव एक्सट्रीम लाइक बोके इफेक्ट एंड आई कैंड लाइक इट एंड सो लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन You can see this is the turbo one and this is pretty good the number of fingers is also good you know there is some kind of problems that here the finger is like slightly thick also here very minute things but other than that this image actually looks pretty good do you if you see the fur and everything the quality is nice you can see the hyper one is not that detailed but then again like if we are talking about the background you can see this is more realistic background than this right but i kind of like this one too when it comes to the composition and everything you see and the fingers and everything uh, again like i know i am talking about the fingers and hands but uh, this has been a main problem with all of the models till now even stxl stable diffusion 1.5 i think the hyper one creates the most realistic hands and if we upscale this this can be like crazy now the original one is again like pretty good but then you can see the number of fingers here we have one extra and if we try to see here it even if it it has messed up you see 1 2 3 4 like we can see four fingers and this is not even prominent whether it is a finger or not but majorly you would see the count of fingers does not change with the hyper one until and unless the fingers are interacting with each other so this is something i love about hyper also the hyper is slightly faster than the turbo mod even for the eight steps hyper creates uh, the images uh, although it's like nearly 5 seconds or 6 seconds difference but it is faster so that is something you can keep in mind also this was a sports car i think this was a sports car on the streets of paris so uh, now the turbo one and uh, the hyper one have pretty similar images here you can see they have pretty similar images although i think if we i would have uh, increased one step more for this particular images there would not be this uh, hashed kind of effect that is in the image but then again you see the number is kind of clearer than the turbo model and uh, the obviously you do not get the exact textures like uh, the hyper one here and uh, you get some more details like uh, the linings of this zebra crossing and uh, you see you understand the point right that there is a man here there is a man here there is a red car there is a red car but the difference is how everything else is built around it so here there is another lane and then there are buildings here there are buildings directly so if you Uh, think about it the trees are going to be in the middle of the road right uh, where there are two streets and the middle there would be trees it is not realistic to have trees just in front of a building because all of the windows will be blocked here we can see this is one street this is kind of the footpath and then the building is here so when we think about logic and reasoning uh the f normal flux one and the turbo is slightly better than the hyper but when we are creating something uh, let's say about portraits and uh, like fashion photo shoots and something like that i think uh, hyper can nail it also uh, look at the reflections look very realistic when we compare it with the hyper one right but when it comes to this original one it has way more people more realistic again you can see the building is way far away from these trees and there are benches so flux tries to include a lot different uh, like elements than any of other these so this is one thing if you want something like perfect professional looking then obviously don't use loras go for this but if you are using like skin enhancer and things like that i would suggest you can go for uh, the hyper one and if you want most like the nearest possible output with the original flux uh, at the cost of some uh, details in the image turbo seems pretty good so that has been my thing and for the last i wanted a dragon so you can see in this particular prompt like uh, the turbo and the original flux completely similar like uh, you can see these kind of 
I actually like the turbo one. If you think about it, if you see the horns and if you see in this one, like both are pretty good, but I kind of like the turbo one. So if the, these kind of images are there, you can see there is one wing. Another, I don't know where it is. Here, there are no wings, so it kind of looks good without wings, <laughs> rather than having just one wing. But uh, obviously, like the reasoning capability is way more. Now you have to remember, I am talking about the original Flux, but I am using the Q4 version of it. So uh, it's the GGUF Q4, like uh, four-bit quantized uh, GGUF model. So obviously, if you are using the original 11 GB model, it will be way better than this too. I'm running this on my laptop, so that's the thing. Hyper creates more of an illustration here, you can see. Also, uh, this like leg, arm, whatever this is, doesn't make any sense because you can see there has to be one leg, one arm, so that has to be followed here, but this doesn't make any sense. So these two are pretty good. So then again, what can we understand from this? My whole logic was that I'll provide the link to this page. You can download the turbo. But what I have seen is that if we are creating portraits, if we want realistic looking skins, photo shoots, hyper combined with, I have a workflow and a video uh, with the skin enhancer. You can check this out. And the skin enhancer actually uses uh, SDXL and that to the turbo XDXL dream shaper. So it is like uh, very lightweight. It does not need much VRAM. It does not need uh, much time as well. So if we are talking about that, uh, I think Hyper works best. You do not need to in-paint fingers and anything. It works the best. If we are talking about like we want professional level images for anything other than just photo shoots, uh, always go for the full flux version the flux dev version because uh, you can understand the quality is pretty good but if you want something or in a workflow if you are going to use this image and further process it right and you want an output which is maybe 85 or 90 percent similar to what would have been if you have used the, the original flux version or the ggf one but you want to reduce time uh, then you can use the 8 step version of Turbo Loro. So that is something that uh, I have noticed. And uh, obviously if you like uh, agree with it or if you have more inputs, please put it in the comment section below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you.